Well, it is Thursday, and that means we're here to help you figure out what's for dinner. And we're going overseas this time. If you have a lot of chicken in your fridge that you don't know what to do with, how about an international spin with some Asian chicken wraps? And joining me now from the cook station is Chef Vinny. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, no problem, no problem. This is uh, actually a dish that I used to do at my restaurant down in uh, South Beach. Mm -hmm. It was one of our appetizers we did. It was very popular, and I like bringing it back when I do uh, certain, uh, when I do my girls' night out classes at the cook station. Yes. This is the one we actually do, and they love putting it together. So it's a lot of fun. It's very easy to put together, and there's different types of variations you can do as well. So this is just one variation that I'm doing here today. I'm glad that you just said that it's easy because I feel like sometimes like international types of recipes can be a little more intimidating because it just sounds fancy, but you're saying anyone could do this one. Yeah, there's just different ways to do it. I mean, with the chicken, uh, the base for the chicken though is, is taking miso, which is a uh, soybean base, and you make a uh, uh, paste with it with uh, sesame oil and grounded up onions. And what you want to do is like marinate the chicken overnight. Now, if you can't do that, just take the chicken and throw it in something like teriyaki sauce, that jar ball stuff. Yeah. You can do that as well, and just sear it off. So you want to sear it off so you get a, a nice uh, caramelization on here. So it just has that really good flavor. Absolutely. All right, what are the ingredients we need for this one, Vinny? Okay, this one, of course, is chicken breast. And now you can use other things too. You can use uh, beef, you can use. Oh. Uh, you can use shrimp as well. Nice. You know, it's a wrap. You can do you know, chicken wrap, shrimp wrap, beef wrap, any wrap you want. So, and uh, so first things first, I'm gonna make the dressing for it. And it's just a few little components here. And like I said, you can change things around. So I got some nice rice vinegar here. We got some sesame oil. Yum. And I have some sweet chili sauce right here. Oh, that sounds good. Then we have some hoisin sauce. What's a hoisin sauce? It's it's kind of like almost like an oyster sauce, but it doesn't have like that seafoodness to it. It has a very, it's it's hard to explain sometimes. <laughs> it's just it's a good Asian sauce. It's like has a lot of depth to it, really. Okay, it's kind of a staple yeah, in Asian cooking. Yeah, but it's not like a soy sauce, so it's not very salty or anything like that. All right, then we have some fresh honey right here. And we have some garlic and ginger mix right here. Just powdered garlic and ginger right here. Now, if you want to spice things up, you can put some uh, crushed red pepper in here as well, or throw some little sriracha in there, or some even like uh, like a hot chili paste in there as well, if you like. This is really easy to make to our liking, this sauce. Yeah, definitely. And you, if, if you don't want to make this dressing, you can just buy a, a jar bought dressing, but this is just basically, That's Vinny you know, speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, you know, just homemade. If you have these things at home, put it together and yeah. stuff, all right? All right, so we have our chicken breast here that we're just going to slice up. And when you cook this, I know you were talking about the finish. How long did it take you to cook this chicken? Well, I sear it off uh, on both sides for about three or four minutes, and then I'll, I'll finish it in the oven. This way the chicken stays nice and moist still. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, su I suggest searing it and not grilling it. It's just because it keeps all that nice flavor in there better. All right. So, and then we have some nice scallions that we're going to add to this. Then he knows I love a good onion. Yes. <laughs> okay. And as soon as you got all that together, then you're just going to build your wraps right here. So right here we got a bunch of the individual wraps. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to put the chicken on first. And what kind of lettuce is this? Just normal? Uh, you can use like a nice uh, butter, like uh, or a bit a bit lettuce that is. Okay. Uh, this one here is called a uh, calera, calera lettuce actually. You know, it's in that family. Uh, we use it at the cook station a lot in our salads. It's, it's I like to use it. It's a nice big leaf. It's nice and crunchy. And it's very very well. Um, and what I do here actually is I take a little bit of the dressing first, and I'll put just a little bit on the chicken here, just to start it out with. Oh, nice. A spoonful pretty much for that's each it, pretty one. Pretty much just like a teaspoon, that's it. Okay, and then I'll go with the toppings. You can use, like, I got the cucumbers, the carrots, and I got, you can use different cabbages. A Napa cabbage is good, a white cabbage is good. I'm using a little bit of red cabbage here because it has a, some nice little color to it. Did you, um, Julian? Is that what this is that called? That is it, Julian. Yes. yes. Julian, that's how we do it. Or if you want to get crazy, you have a mandolin at home, you just slice it right on the mandolin there. Nice. Okay, so we're going to get the Look cabbage. Look at the color coming alive. I know, it's popping out now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we got our carrots. This would be another way to kind of tweak the recipe to your liking is with the toppings. Yes, yes, you can just change things around. Any type of vegetables you have at home, just julienne them nice, you know, they'll look good on there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and then we have our little crushed up peanuts right here, just the basic peanuts. This would be really easy to take out if you had an allergy. Yes, definitely. And here, we're just going to put more dressing on top here. You don't want to like overload the dressing because when you're like taking the wraps to go to bite it, you don't want the dressing all over you. So you can also actually not even put any dressing on it if you want. You can just like wrap these up in your hand and just dip, dip, it, right, it. dip it right in the dressing. I all guess. right, then we're going to put our mixed uh, white and black sesame seeds on here. 
nice. This looks so fancy. I feel like this would definitely impress for a And then we have, dinner. you can just buy, uh, like, if you want, buy, like, any type of noodles. But right here, I took a bunch of wontons. I sliced them up, and I fried them. That makes everything really nice and crunchy. Yes. And it gets that nice crunch when you bite right into it right there. All right, and then last but not least, you're going to get your green onions I almost right forgot over about the, the green there. onion that we had just Yes, yeah, so right there you have your Asian chicken wrap and a nice, like, appetizer. It can even be a dinner. Just eat, like, five of them, you know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and absolutely. And it's healthy. And just eat it, like, <laughs> over the plate so you don't make a mess. That's my yes. only, my pro tip. True, probably. true. Put a bib on sometimes. <laughs> you want the dressing all over you. You were talking about the different proteins that we could toss in these. If somebody's vegetarian, what would you do for that? Vegetarian, I'll uh, just put a big piece of broccoli on it. Now you can uh, you can throw some <laughs> tofu on there if you want. Really. Tofu would work. Yes, you can like uh, actually soak the tofu in, in, in a marinade, and same thing. You can just sear it off, or you can even fry it off. You know, you know, dip it in a little bit of rice flour, and it just it, it comes out very nicely. All right, this seems like a recipe that truly will please everyone. It's very adaptable, looks delicious, lots of color. Thanks so much for stopping by. No, Vinny. no problem. It was great. And of course, if you want to try your hand at Vinny's Cooking, he's hosting a five-course wine dinner next month at the Cook Station. He is pairing each plate with Mission Grape Wine. It's happening Thursday, October 5th at 6 p.m. Tickets for that are $120, still available. And of course, for today's What's for Dinner recipe, head on over to foxcarolina.com.